The questions that I'll be answering in this video include normal percent of working memory, what to do with SD cards, hard drive problem, micro tower case airflow, and finally, two ATI HD 5770 video cards or one HD 5870. The first question is about normal percent of working memory. This person is referring to your system memory. When I boot up my computer system, the memory is working at like 24%, and then after a while at idle, it goes to 65 to 68%. Well, Normally, the percentage would be at idle, and that's with a few browsers open and a few other programs running in the background. It should be anywhere between 15 to 30 percent. But again, it depends on what you have running in the background. And I suspect that you have something running in the background, probably you're not aware of it. Could be a Trojan, a virus, who knows what it is, but you've got to find out what is using the memory. This is very easy to do. Just go control alt delete on your keyboard, go to start task manager, and then go to processes and then sort by memory usage. You can find out what is using the memory. And if you find out what that particular program is or file is, well, you can go ahead and kill it. If of course it's something that you do not want loaded because it might be something very crucial although eating up 65 percent plus of your memory at idle well that's not so great i mean you really want to have some memory left for playing games and doing other very system intensive and memory intensive applications so that's how you can see what's using the memory and then you can go from there this next question is what do you do with SD cards? Well, that's a wonderful question. What do you do with these things? I know that I have a few of these kicking around, and, well, I just hang on to them. And I guess it's a good thing in a way, because they serve as a backup. The other option, of course, is to sell them or give them away to a friend or a family member, or maybe somebody just in need of an SD card. Now, a lot of these cards, well, they're low capacity, and they're not very fast. So, you know, you're not going to get much for them if you sell them. And probably a lot of people are not going to want them. So, again, what I do is I fill them up and just put them away as a backup. This next question is about a hard drive problem. And it seems from reading this thread very quickly on RogerReynolds.com, that he is having an issue with a partition maybe. There seems to be a 500 gigabyte hard drive in the computer system, but only like 100 gigabytes is showing. I suspect that this is a partition problem. Maybe the drive wasn't partitioned correctly when it was upgraded, who knows, but you can check it. All you need to do is go into the control panel, system and security, administrative tools, and click on disk management. You should see the drive listed, and it will also give you information about the drive partitions uh, that are allocated and on allocated space and so on and so forth. So you can check that out and see if that is actually the problem, which I suspect it probably is. This next question is about case airflow. What separates a case that has brilliant airflow from one that has mediocre airflow? Well, there are all kinds of different factors. For example, the fans that you select, uh, the size of the fans, how many fans you have. Also, it depends on cable management. If you have cables tucked away and managed very well, you're going to get better air circulation inside of the case. However, a case that has a side panel fan or a few side panel fans will perform really, really well because those fans direct cool air over many components, which is fantastic. So, for that reason, I would really recommend getting a case that has a side panel fan or, you know, a few side panel fans. The best option is really to go with one very large side panel fan that will push a lot of air inside of the case and it will be extremely quiet. 
And the final question is, two ATI HD 5770 video cards or one ATI HD 5870 video card? Well, I say go with one ATI HD 5870 video card because it will perform about as well. And you can always add another 5870 in the future if you want to. Now, the other option, and this really depends on the motherboard that you have, you can go with an NVIDIA GTX 460 video card now, and maybe in the future, maybe get another one and do NVIDIA SLI setup. But again, that really depends on the motherboard that you actually have.